What's up guys, Jeff here with Gobble Exotics. Um, I wanted to do a little unboxing for you guys. Uh, I haven't done much lately in the form of videos, but I did get a package in today and I wanted to unbox it. Um, this is just kind of a small group of animals or species that I, that I work with. They're kind of fun and I'm more into the locales than anything else. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you guys what I'm going to be putting it into, and then we'll get to the unboxing. Pretty simple setup, 15 quart tub um, with a perch. Uh, it's already been coated with preventamite uh, and let dry before I even put anything in it. But uh, clean water, um, disposable water bowls, guys. That's my hack. If you guys have not uh, switched over to disposable water bowls, you are really, really uh, costing yourself some time. It's been really, really nice. But anyway, this is it. Just um, this is unprinted newspaper. I misted it down. Uh, that's a thicker perch based off what's coming in. Uh, if you guys haven't already guessed, um, well, anyway, <laughs> you should know by now what's coming in. I've got a perch holder there um, that's kind of puts keeps this in place and uh this isn't going anywhere so anyway that's it uh for the 15 quart tub and now to the unboxing all right here we go i have not even opened it yet so you guys are going to be seeing this for the first time it's me um seal this thing up pretty good All you freaks out there that are thinking I'm being careless with the knife, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but I'm not worried about myself with the knife. Anyway, moving on, you guys might recognize the style box. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and see what we have here. So far, nothing, and uh, okay, this is the animal. Uh, this is a female biak, um, looks to be in really good condition, I don't see any subcutaneous parasites. Um, now these guys uh, are my favorite locale. In typical in Biak fashion, it is ready to come out at me. Um, but very, very pretty. It is a female, so I'm excited to have this animal. It was a red neonate. Um, you can tell for all you chondro guys. Um, now this animal will be treated with Panicure. Um, I've got Panicure on hand to, uh, you know, to treat it. Um, but I'm hoping to create some nice uh, Biak uh, locality types, as well as um, some crosses. So, um, so far so good. The animal is a little bit cold. So I, I think that the demeanor is probably an exception. Although I would be pleasantly surprised if it uh, <laughs> turned out to be a very nice uh, placid snake, which I've, have heard that there are some that are, but uh, I would get, wager this animal being probably a year and a half to two years old. Um, it's wild caught, so, uh, but it's in really, really good shape and really good condition. So um, I'm gonna make sure it gets hydrated and make sure that it is uh, eating and get a few meals in it. After about a month or two, I will treat it with Panicure. Um, I'm not really worried about external parasites because uh, those have been, um, I've got preventamite in there and I don't have any mites in my collection and haven't for years, so I'm not really super worried, but hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm pretty stoked to have her. Uh, she came from Ryan Burke um, at Clockwork Reptiles. Uh, many of you guys know Ryan and 
I know he's been around the game for a long time. Um, now, the interesting thing about Beox, as you guys uh, may already know, is they will continue to color up their entire lives. They're one of the uh, few locality types of chondros that do that. Um, a lot of animals, after about a year or two uh, to three years, they're kind of done. Um, some of the mainland types are like that, but you don't uh, see that with these uh, Beox. These Beox go through a pretty nice uh, color change for their entire lives. And this animal is a little cold, but man, I'm actually kind of surprised it's not trying to, uh, to bite me yet. Now, once it warms up and it's had a few meals in it, uh, this could be a different snake. But either way, I, I'm glad you guys uh, got a chance to see it. I wanted to share it with you. And hopefully, um, if you're on the fence about chondros, hopefully you guys will, uh, will maybe take the plunge. Um, they're kind of a labor of love. They can be kind of finicky, um, but people do have success with them. So anyway, uh, that's it. And until next time, thanks for watching God Build Exotics. Um, I appreciate uh, the support. Uh, I'm trying to do a few more of these more intimate, uh, shorter videos with you guys. Take care, stay safe, and uh, make sure you're listening to your local law enforcement and uh, government uh, guidance as far as uh, the COVID-19 pandemic is done. We'll get through this and uh, things will return to normal. All right, adios. What's up guys? So uh, this is post unboxing. So the animal has actually settled into its uh, rack. Um, we're going into the lair, the shed right now. Um, let's see here. Turn the lights on. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys, let's see here if I can maneuver this down. So, okay, first off, all you guys that are go crazy on quarantine and all that stuff, I rarely bring in a new animal and I bought from this source for a long time and um, I haven't had any issues with mites or any of that stuff. So anyway, I trust them pretty well. Um, but um, this is the animal. She's purdy. I don't want to disturb her too much, but uh, I'm pretty happy with her. And she seems to be doing nice curled up on that perch. So um, anyway, just giving you guys kind of a post unboxing uh, glimpse at what she looks like.